This is done really, really ghetto, especially on the back. But at least it still work. At least I hope. <laughs> Welcome to the Sears Tower. It will always be known as the Sears Tower to me because the Willis Tower just kind of sounds. And here we are in one of the world's tallest buildings. Very cool. It's called the Convene. I'm not sure if I should be here, but we are here. Very cool. Stay for the luxurious experience as we sip the fine wine and go enjoy the restaurants that are fancy and marble. <laughs> In Upriger. I've been here for several hours working on my website and yeah, just working on client stuff. We got a little bit of bad action here. We're gonna make it up in here. Heading up Mount Pinnell now. Traveling, walking up, gonna see the views. So it's about a half mile up by here, so it's not too bad. It just gotta be quite the sight. Hopefully. Tesla Gigafactory, ladies and gents. They kicked me out, but I managed to snag a few photos and get kind of close to it. It's very amazing. Hell yeah. I love it. Just the whole thing. Excellent. Well, I gotta go. Such big stuff. Jesus Christ. Here we are in the San Antonio boardwalk. Very cool. That view right behind me. You have now entered the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Silly Walks. Commence Silly Walks immediately. Currently in a truck stop in San Antonio. This is kind of my setup. You got the cooler. My thumb just got in the way. I got my pants, my blanket, my suitcase. Yeah. And you got this, this the, the Bucky's bag from the world's biggest truck stop. And I have my car parked in ready mode so that I'm not, yeah, being keyed to death. And. I'm just sleeping in here and hanging out in the little Prius C. Yeah, it's a bit dark in here, but hell. Um, yeah, it's an enjoyable time, I'd say. At least it's free. Get to sleep here. And yeah. Better than paying for a hotel room, for sure. I'm running a little bit low on the budget, but I've been out for like about three weeks. Just about, which is nice. Um, I've spent, this is my third night or so in the car. Yeah, I think it's like my third night. I've been able to sleep by I'm spending too much on the hotel. I've spent more in parking, I, don't, I think, than I have in a hotel, which I'm gonna have to fix that because I just stayed at a hostel like under 200 and then I stayed at various a motel for free for a night because I gave this guy a ride who I met at a hostel and then I split a hotel with the one girl which is pretty cheap but like in our $80 or so so yeah it's not terrible but my parking actually costs more than that. It probably, I wouldn't be surprised if it were like $300, which total about six, $700 between sleeping and parking your car. 
that's a good most of what my budget's going for because it only took me like sixty dollars to get down here i believe well yeah about 60 to 80 to drive down here because i get 50 miles to a gallon so yeah that consumed most of my budget like there's that alone it's ridiculous but yeah if not for the parking it will have been really cheap but i would still say it's still pretty cheap compared to what a lot of people spend you spend like two two weeks down in texas in like the city area you'll probably be spending a few thousand dollars rather than just like maybe a thousand but that's still like mm, we could bring that down we'll work on it as i travel more and learn more things but that's all for now goodbye here we are in dallas uh i'm stopped at like this trolley place i have no idea where i am right now but it's gonna be an adventure let's go see what we're doing do here so exciting and eventful just look at this place. It's just bustling with activity.